Neves to tee it up and volley it! Ruben Neves and another one to his collection of classics! Following a 15th place finish and two failed coaching appointments in nine months, it was time for change in the black country. The 2017-18 season brought with it optimism, hope and above all, Nuno Espirito Santo. New challenge for us. We hope to, uh, to work hard and, and bring new things to, to the club. With Nuno came the cream of Portugal. Diogo Jota was loaned in from Spanish giant Atletico Madrid, while Ruben Neves swapped captaining Porto in the Champions League for a tilt at Championship glory. 20 points from the first 10 games put Wolves in a strong position from the outset. Leo Bonatini kept his cool to score the only goal against Middlesbrough on the opening day. Ivan Cavallero sealed the three points at Derby County and Nua Dicko showed composure away at Hull to give Nuno a dream start. Ten more games passed by, and by now only QPR were able to stem the flow. 27 more points and 26 goals, including routes of Burton Albion and Leeds United, left Wolves top of the tree. Nuno's boys were doing it differently, but they were doing it right. In the world's most competitive league, flair and creativity were suddenly the order of the day. Even their closest rivals couldn't stand in the way. One by one they fell, and by Christmas the Midlands were painted black and gold. Now it's Diogo Jota. Jota's in! Diogo Jota almost found a way through, it's Bonatini! That should be that! Onoma gets his head on that. Couldn't get the ball on target. Grounds. Oh, and it's a gift to Cavallero! Great response from Stockdale, not once but twice. Oh, Morrison was able to hook it away, decision to make, and the decision is gone. At the turn of the year, this incredible team had the league at their mercy. 11 unbeaten and showing no signs of stopping. The whispers began. Are they the best ever? There was a brief bump in the road as along came Forrest to spoil the fun. A 2-0 loss at Molyneux left a shred of doubt in those that had seen it all before. But this wasn't like any other year. Wolves bounced back and three more fell to their sword. Ipswich, Sheffield United and QPR all came and went with tails between their legs. In mid-March it was Villa's turn to plant a seed of doubt. A 4-1 hammering at Villa Park made for a short but sombre drive home. But Wolves hadn't come this far to give it all up now. It was in the northeast where Wolves finally allowed themselves to dream. Clip back in towards Afobi, it's Costa! It's 1-0! Rolls have found the quality just after the half-hour mark and Elder Costa has found the back of the net. Middlesbrough just need to stay in this contest now. Oh. Something they've managed to do through the save of Randolph, but it's then followed in by Evan Caballero. Two goals in the space of five minutes and Wolves take a grip on this contest now. Here's Fran now and that is not the best challenge we've seen tonight from Ruben Neves. Ruben Neves playing the second yellow card and the red. Franston battling away. And there may have been an elbow in that. Yellow card is shown. It's the second yellow as well. And a second red card. On by Triore and rifled into the roof of the net by Patrick Bamford. Last signalled minute, might be more added. Bamford again! Well, that was quite a hit. Downing! That wasn't too bad, but it was wide. Up against it, outnumbered, and with all the pressure on, the Wanderers dug deep and pulled out a famous win. Well, the roar from Wolves, the celebration from Nuno Espirito Santo. It's only a win.
It was only a game, he said beforehand, but that reaction tells you it's a whole lot more than that. Nine men have held on here for a famous win that sees them edge ever closer to the Premier League. Then it was on to Wales and a memorable night in Cardiff. Pogicin in there, big decision, big decision, the decision is penalty. Oh, and Ruddy produces a moment of heroism for Wolves. Oh, another challenge. The assistant's back, it's another penalty. Oh, I do not believe it, they can't take the chance again. Hoylet's in there, he goes down. John Ruddy's heroics are now the stuff of legend, combining with the woodwork to secure the three points and a one-way ticket to the big time. Another defining night for Wolverhampton Wanderers in their quest to reach the Premier League. This stunner from Neves, one of the finest goals a championship has ever witnessed, put the icing on top of a memorable season for Nuno's men. of classics. A new generation of players wearing the famous old gold shirts on this famous ground. It could be a golden generation. Molyneux shakes. Wolves celebrate. He's the new golden boy around here. Leo Bonatini with the finish. Hungry pack of wolves have got the championship running for cover. Promotion was sealed when Neil Mopay's last minute equaliser for Brentford denied Fulham. <laughs> and with the Premier League place confirmed, Wolves secured the title against Bolton the following weekend and in some style. We achieve a lot of things this year. We play good, we, we did a good competition, it's not over yet, still two games to go. But today was again the example that we want. We know that we had the promotion and we wanted to win the game to, to become champions. And Wolves up, showing what they've showed all season long, their class. 30 wins, 82 goals, 99 points and some of the greatest football the championship has ever seen. The Wolves of 2017-18 will be hard to forget.